Look at the parade of husks. Absolutely ridiculous. Good afternoon and welcome back to Asgard and welcome to the very first episode of our Crash Landing Forever uh, Let's Play series. So I want to say a couple things real quick. First off, thank you so much Crimson Studios, that is Crimson with a K, um, for the new intro. It is very, very much appreciated and um, you know everybody, I'm going to leave a link down below so everybody stop by his channel and let him know if you like it. Um, also... Uh, this pack, for those of you that don't know, this was created by G.W. Sheridan, and uh, <clears throat> you guys may remember him from the UHC. He was actually one of my partners, um, and really, really great guy. So anyway, uh, for those of you that don't know, this is Crash Landing Forever. Uh, many of you have probably played Crash Landing in the past in 1.7. It was an excellent, excellent mod pack, um, all quest-based and everything. So anyway, let's go ahead and start it up. So we've already got a world here, Forever Crash Landing, um, and if you notice, it's by Stalker, uh, Stalker V. Tid, <clears throat> and he is actually the head of TSG, the group that I'm in, so he's the one that made the map. So let's go ahead and hop on in. All right, so we just spawned up in the world. Um, I know Sheridan did tell me there was a thing with HQM, and there's some duplicate quests, so it's going to keep popping up quest complete for just a minute. Um, that will be fixed in the update that should be coming out in like 30 minutes. So, um, but anyway, let's take a look here. We've got quests, and we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to jump on into it. So they want us to get water bottles, oak sapling, and bone meal from the ship. That's fine. Um, I did have a look at some of the quests that we've got coming up, and some of those are a little ways off. Um, so anyway, we've got all of that stuff. Let's go ahead and claim this. We got a canteen, some water bottles, dirt, and an item placeholder. Alright, so they want us to make a wooden hammer. That's fine, but we're going to need to go ahead and start planting. Um, I think, what is this? I think we're going to move over here. I don't want to live inside the ship, I don't think. Because um, <clears throat> it's kind of crowded. And this, this little tower here, I like it. I want it. Okay, so let's go ahead, we'll set up our, we'll call this place home. Alright, so the first few pieces of wood, let's go ahead and get ourselves a crafting table, crafting station, and let's get just a couple crooks so that we've got them. Because of course we're going to want saplings. And of course I would end up like first tree, end up with like the biggest tree in the world. <laughs> but at least it's a lot of saplings, right? Alright, so the first thing, I went ahead and grabbed um, an axe. And I actually need more crooks. Um, I went ahead and got an axe, a shovel, and then a crook. Or some more crooks. We'll get some more crooks, whatever. Uh, but an axe and a shovel, that's my primary concern at the moment. Oh, and I got my first silkworm. There we go. I took, actually took a while. I broke a lot of leaves before finally getting that. Um, but, so I'm going to go ahead and grow a tree here in just a second. And we'll use it for silkworms. So we'll go ahead and bone mill this up. And, oh, never mind. I'm crazy. I've got ten silkworms. Don't listen to me. Don't ever listen to me. Alright, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and throw that on there. And then I'm just going to go over here and continue bone milling and collecting saplings. We need basically as many saplings as we can get within the first day. Uh, one other thing that I do want is I want to go ahead and snag just a bit of sand before the sun totally sets on me. Alright, now I made us a little hidey hole down here um, so that we can still access the sand. I did get shot by a skeleton. Um, there's not much I can do about that. But uh, I kind of... I kind of pushed it right up until the end and that was kind of my fault um, but anyway this little area this little tower that's right over here there's a few nice little vantage points so this is where I think we're gonna call home only thing is I can't light it up but that's okay we'll figure something out in time so anyway now that night times here let's go ahead and I'm gonna get us another crafting table for up here 
and we'll set it down right here. And the first thing that we're going to want, we have a quest to get ourselves a hammer. I'm going to go ahead and make a few sticks just so that we've got them. And we're going to go ahead and get our hammer. And there we go. And let's see, let's check the quest book here. Actually, can I make maybe some chests? Yes. Okay, so let's put them like that. And we'll just throw in some of this stuff here, like these extra quest books. And let's see. We've got our hammer. Now they want us to make a save and then get some bone meal and some dust. That's fine. Dust, of course, we can get by breaking sand with a hammer. Um, the save, there it is, the oak save. Let's grab that, and we'll set it up just right here. Um, now this is going to require a mesh. Uh, we got some bone meal, water, and dirt for doing that. Good stuff. Um, let me turn down the monsters. I know it's kind of loud. Okay, so we got our save, and then what we can do if we want to save stuff. Alright, um, we can just do sticks like that, and that's going to get us one of these wooden meshes. Now this thing only has 10 durability, so if I run, say, some sand through this, um, you'll notice that it does one damage to the durability on it, and we are going to have to watch that. It will end up breaking on it, so um, we will have to run through a lot of wood if we want to save, say, a lot of sand and stuff. Okay, there's monsters for days downstairs. Um, but the next thing that we're going to need to do is make ourselves a barrel. So we'll just get an oak barrel, that's fine. Oh man, I know all these monsters aren't going to despawn when the day comes. I'll bet you anything. Uh, God, there's spiders and stuff for days down there. Okay, um, but anyway, we can set up our barrel now and start getting ourselves a bit of dirt. And let's see, for this quest, they want us to get five dirt. Oh, we get a lifeblood crystal and five more dirt. Awesome. So, let me make some more. I'm going to make some more of those uh, barrels, I think. And we'll get a bit of dirt going. Oh, there's also a quest in here to kill 50 zombies, 40 skeletons, 25 spiders, 20 creepers, and 10 endermen. And we get a charcoal filter, some dirt, and a golden apple for that. Oh, no, we get to pick one of those things. Okay. Okay, so our dirt, most of it is done now. So let's go ahead. We'll snag that. I had to fill that little window in because I was getting shot by a skeleton over there. Um, so anyway, we've got a quest complete now. Drinking mud. And there we go. And so next up, they want us to make an unfired crucible and an unfired bucket. Um... Which, of course, we need clay for that. Infested. We need some infested leaves. That's fine. We're about to have that once the sun comes up. Tools of the trade. Stone hammer. Bone crook. Uh, bone shovel. Bone axe. And then more tables. That's the start. Uh, of course, the uh, tinker stuff. And then desperate times. We need to get some salt. Well, let's go ahead and get ourselves some blank patterns. I'm going to go ahead and make a few of these. And we'll get our Tinker's Construct stuff done. By the way, this Lifeblood Crystal... Oh, we got another heart. Awesome. Cool. I like it. Um, heart Builder will set there, and then we'll do Planks, and get our Stencil Table. We'll do our Crafting Station, and then put a blank pattern on that, and get our Tool Station. Um, you can also do just a Crafting Table, but I needed it for the uh, for the quest itself, for it to count it. So now we just need the pattern chest. That's fine. So there's our chest and our blank pattern. And we got our pattern chest. Ha ha. Okay. So we get four blank patterns, a bit of wood, and a water bottle. I will definitely take that. And it finishes out that quest line. I'll go ahead and throw these water bottles into here. I did drink one because um, I was a bit thirsty. A little bit thirsty. So anyway, let's see. Oh, man, it's a mess down there. Regardless of how you slice it, it is a mess. So let me get a sword. Maybe I can fight my way out of here. 
Oh my gosh, there is monsters for days down there. Look at all that. Well, that one's got an iron sword, though. No! Oh, man. Really? And now they're all, like, right there. Why don't they despawn? I got hit by a skeleton or something. So I'm assuming that we lost a life. Okay, it doesn't look like they're going to despawn. So, I'm just going to have to run for it. Aha! Okay, so we're just going to have to fight. I'm going to have to figure out some other way to, uh, to leave the base in the future. I'll probably wall it in, actually, is what I might do. Okay, well, I got him killed, anyway. <laughs> um, oh, man. Can't believe it. Uh, I've got to, yeah, I need to be careful. Because I just got, like, I was standing up there, like, I was killing, and I was like, yeah, I'm winning. And then I got knocked off <laughs> into the into the pit of zombies. I guess the skeleton was, like, back here and just popped me um, really good. But anyway, our infested leaves are done. I won't die anymore. No more. All right, so let's go ahead and work on our bone tools really, really quick. Um, we're going to want a bone shovel head, a bone axe head. And we'll go ahead and throw them in the pattern chest. And, oh, this doesn't have the really nice TC thing. Uh, it looks like it's two bones each, so that's fine. And then shovel head. Can we use bone meal for this? Yes, but... Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. And bone shovel head, and then what else do we need? Okay, and let's also get a tool rod. Um, we'll just do this out of, I guess, wood would be okay. And probably need two of them, right? And then we're going to need our binding, which I guess we'll make that out of wood as well. That sounds good. And now we should be able to make our shovel. Bone shovel. Durability of 240. I will take it. And then we're going to need our bone axe. I'm getting somewhere now. <laughs> and honestly, you know what? I would love a bone sword, but I don't think that we can afford it at the moment. Actually, yeah, we should be able to. It'll just be kind of cutting it close. So let's go ahead. Now we can have ourselves a bone longsword. <laughs> so we're all boned out for tools. There's also the bone crook and stuff, but we just don't have the resources just yet. So let's go ahead and save a little bit of this dirt. I know it's night again. I spent so much of the day just running around punching zombies. And we're going to try to get ourselves some stone and um, also maybe some seeds is kind of what I'm what I'm aiming for at the moment. And by the way, you can compost cactus, which is actually a great compost. I mean, it's only 10%. And by the way, now that we have string, we can make our mesh out of string. So that has 64 uses, uh, which will definitely be too gone. Will definitely come in handy. Anyway, so I went ahead and opened this little area up so we can. I knew I'd take a little bit of damage, but. It can't be helped. Look at the parade of husks. Absolutely ridiculous. There's husk up there climbing around now too. So anyway, I'm gonna, gonna start collecting some dust here. Alright, so I've pretty much lost them and I killed a few of them um, to the point where we're pretty well safe out here. I am gonna kill this one because he's got a bone and I need those. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and make a bit of slabs. Um, I just realized that this is chiseled wood and not solid wood. So, we can use that and mobs shouldn't be able to spawn on it. And there's a skeleton like right down there. Of course there is. Alright, change of plans. We're going all the way up. Skeleton shouldn't be able to hit us from up here, I shouldn't think. Um, and we're going to build out just a little bit here so that we have a place that's safe from the mobs. Where we can kind of uh, plant trees and stuff and not worry about mobs during the night or whatever. Here's what we're going to do. It's basically going to be Sky Factory um, in Crash Landing. 
This is what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and we'll do something like this. And we'll put our dirt down. I'll keep expanding it. Okay, so we've got a nice little area here that we can actually work on. <laughs> so let me go ahead. Let me get some more slabs here. All right, and now we've got a nice place to go ahead and lay out some sand. I guess it should be every other one, right? And we can go ahead and start laying out all of our cactus. Just like so. And that way that will start growing and we can use it for, um, of course, more dirt. So, that will be useful. And now, of course, we can bone mill it up up here in relative safety. Um, sometimes the skeletons will try to shoot up here, but they never hit, so it doesn't... Not that big of a deal, I guess. Um, I will probably put something here so I don't touch that cactus because that is a little bit dangerous. Um, but as long as I'm careful, that's not going to be a problem at all. So, still can't believe I died that one time. I thought it was going to be a really smooth run. <laughs> oh my god, there's just so many mobs there. I'm going to go ahead and use up this wooden axe that I've got before I... Um, start using the bone one. All right, I did go ahead and adjust the placement a little bit here. Um, so we've got a line of trees like that. Um, and then I'll keep expanding this so that we have like a safe area to work and then we only have to get down for like sand and, and whatnot. So um, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I can see all those husks. Like I don't even want to mess with that. <laughs> I just don't even want to. Um, so um, anyway, I'm going to end out the episode here. Um, of course, this excess cactus, I can use it to make more dirt up here. So very, very good stuff, I think. Yeah. Um, it does take 10 cactus, of course, to uh, make a piece of dirt, but that's okay. That's just another way that we can generate some early game dirt um, passively. And then, of course, we can use... We can use the rotten flesh that we've got as well um, to make some more dirt in addition to that. So we might use up a little bit of that. I do want to save some because we're going to need to make food. Um, I will say that next episode we're going to have to try to focus on getting some water set up. So um, anyway, at least we got everything started and I feel relatively, relatively safe at the moment. So anyway, I am going to end out the episode there. Um, I know it's, it's about wrapping up point. I feel like we got a lot of a lot accomplished um, in the first day, and um, I will continue gathering wood and some little things like that, um, getting sand and dust and um, all of that fun stuff. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure and let me know. Leave a like and subscribe if you're not already for more daily videos. And if this is a series that you guys would like to see, um, do let me know, and I will. Um, do my best to keep bringing this to you. I do have a lot of stuff going on, so, um, but I'm sure we can, we can squeeze it in there somewhere. So anyways, um, I hope you guys join me for next episode, and until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I hope to see you guys next time.